Hi, this is John with Computer Pro, and it's a lovely Sunday night in Austin, Texas, and I'm taking time off from watching the Giants and the Packers play to do a couple reviews. A couple things have been on my mind this week, and I'm going to do two reviews in quick succession here, and hopefully somebody's going to like them. I'm sorry I don't have uh, more uh, camera-friendly glasses. I know they're reflecting into the picture, but that's just the way it is. Anyway, the first one tonight, which is going to be a little bit longer than the second, is about Hotmail. I've been doing some work over the last few weeks for this lady that is on Hotmail, and she also likes using Outlook, which means she is using something called the Outlook Connector for Hot from Hotmail to connect in. Now, there's a couple ways you can set up Outlook with Hotmail or anything, Gmail, Yahoo, any web-based email. You can set up what they call a POP account, which is where you download the emails into your directly into your computer, and you have your own separate data file in there. And uh, you can choose whether to leave them on the web server or you can leave them on for a certain amount of days or whatever you want to do. Or there's something called an IMAP account, which is what the connector is used for. And that allows you, it basically syncs the stuff back and forth. It, it, it resides primarily on um, Hotmail or Yahoo or whatever. But it's, any changes you make in Hotmail, if you've got this Outlook connector and a map, uh, IMAP account set up, um, <clears throat> You can, um, I'm sorry, it's MAPI, it's not IMAP, I know I've said that a couple of times, M-A-P-I. Uh, you can uh, basically sync in back and forth between the two. My major thing is today is I want to talk to you about a Hotmail and how this works with them because it's absolutely horrible. I think after this experience with Hotmail, I would never suggest using a Hotmail account with anything ever again. Um, this lady, her computer crashed, and we had a, we set up everything. She's had huge issues with Hotmail and the Outlook connector. I've been over her house a number of times helping her with it. Um, the thing is this. Now, her computer crashed. We reset everything up. We put the connector in. The connector is giving this strange error message about an error 3206, saying that you've reached the maximum numbers of syncs allowed with, um, <clears throat> with the, with the uh, IMAP account, the MAPI account. Um, now here's the problem. You can't get a hold of Hotmail. We signed up for a Hotmail Plus account for her, paying an extra twenty dollars or grand a lot for the service. But you go in, you try and contact them, you get knocked around into all the new. Uh, Microsoft has, has revamped their website because, in case another reason not to use Hotmail, in case anyone doesn't know it, is in the next year or so it's going it's going to be gradually phased out and everything is going to be called Outlook.com, and that still will be a web-based email, but um, you're still going to be using the same connector. But apparently, a lot of people have issues with these connectors. You go in, you you follow the links, you try and send an email to Hotmail, you can't. You end up in the Microsoft community where you can post and ask other people to solve the problem. Now, the moderators who are on there have responded to this, but the only problem is they responded. There's a private way to respond to even public, what they call public threads in, these, in, in the Microsoft community because they want your email address. So it's just been, a, a, for lack of a better word, a clusterfuck. I mean, you can't get a hold of them. You go through, you jump through hoops, you call MSN, they send you over to Hotmail, even though you're a paying customer. Hotmail, the only thing I'll talk to you about on the phone is billing issues. They won't send you through to any kind of technical support. And even when you're on, in, in, on the Microsoft community, you can't send a thing directly to Microsoft technical support or Hotmail technical support. You end up having to post on the community websites. And finally, after about Two days, somebody responded to this email and then asked for to privately send the email address we were talking about. Because obviously, the other thing is, this isn't something that's wrong with the computer itself. Because what we did was, I tested it, I went in and tried to set it up on a second computer, and it still didn't work. And uh, I, then I set up a dummy Hotmail account and tried that with a new connector, and that worked fine, which means there's something on there and with the account. So you get absolutely, you know, you're lucky three, four days down the road to, to, to get some kind of reply from. I mean, a lot of people here know what I am talking about, their frustrations with Microsoft. A lot of people don't like Microsoft, and some people go to streams and, and, and go to Linux, which is maybe not a bad alternative. But my thing right here and now is to tell anyone out there who wants to listen is do not use Hotmail. If you're going to get a web-based email account, 
go and get Gmail. I mean, out of all of them, it's the easiest to use. It's the free one. I mean, at Yahoo, you still have to pay for basic ser some services. There's Yahoo Plus. But Gmail, you can set up the POP. I've used the, the, the MAP account, and it's worked fine. I've used the POP account, it works fine. Hotmail, and here's the other thing with Hotmail. If you set up a new Gmail account, this is how, this is how bad and sneaky Hotmail and, and Microsoft are with Gmail. You set up a, a Gmail account, and you want to go in and set it up where uh, you can import. It's possible to import all your emails and all your folders from other types of email, whether it's AIM or AOL or Yahoo, into Gmail, which is one of their great features. Well, what happens when you go in and try and do the Hotmail? Half the time you get blocked. And this is another thing that's on the boards that you can read about. And this is just Hotmail being real sneaky because they don't want you to leave. Bottom line is this. Stay away from Hotmail. I've seen way too many people that, you know, I know it's a pain to change your email address, but it's a worse pain trying to deal with Hotmail. It's like AOL. The only reason AOL is still in business these days is because there are so many people who have had AOL email address for so long, they don't want to get rid of them. And even if they've converted to free AOL email addresses, you can't get any type of support. So you're better off using something, I would say Gmail first, Yahoo second. Those are the two best ones out there, and I've actually talked to people at Yahoo before when I needed help. I haven't tested it on Gmail, but we had an issue where we got locked out of an out of a, actually a Hotmail account with a, a Yahoo backup, and somebody we, they locked us out of the Yahoo. And I called Yahoo, was able actually to talk someone to, to talk to someone on the phone. So consider that before you do anything. Hotmail's going away. You're going to have to get Outlook.com anyway. Outlook.com is just going to be. Um, a more, I think, sterile version of, of Hotmail, but it's not going to be really any different. You're not going to get the customer support. The Outlook conduit isn't going to work if you want to use a Mappy on there, so, so don't do it. Don't do it. That's all I can say. This is one of my strongest ones today. Do not use Hotmail. If you have it, get rid of it now before you have to go get Outlook and then you're in the same situation somewhere down the road. If you don't have it, don't even think about it. Anyway, this is John with Computer Pro in Austin, Texas. Thanks for listening and have a great night.